I'm Ben with the BTC Sessions, and this is your bullish bit brought to you by Cedor.io, one of the most beautifully designed and robust options when it comes to backing up your seed phrase in solid steel. You can check them out at the links down below. Every time there's there's this kind of top down pressure, there's also a response to it in that better tools are made. And so you also get to see which which tools out there are resilient and do well in these types of environments. So I want to give a shout out to self-hosting. If things get as draconian as they seem to be getting in the US, you're basically going to have governments not only encourage, but force people to self-host their own infrastructure. And so um, first shout out would be Start9. Again, one of the many options out there in, when it comes to self-hosting your own infrastructure, and that's not just Bitcoin related, but, you know, like files and passwords and photos and all that kind of stuff so that you don't have them on somebody else's server, but, you know, Bitcoin infrastructure. And so when it comes to the privacy aspect, there's a protocol called Join Market, and that can be used for on-chain privacy. And if you're hosting a Start9 or any of the other uh, node implementations that, that have this, you can run something called Jam, which is effectively just an interface to be able to do collaborative transactions to maintain your on-chain privacy so that if you happen to go and buy a t-shirt online, that person can't go and ascertain your net worth. Because I'll say it and I'll say it again, privacy is not a crime and it's not ridiculous for somebody to not want a person that they purchase a t-shirt from online to know how much Bitcoin they have and to know their address. And so being able to self-host and to be able to still maintain on-chain privacy is important. And so Jam is basically a protocol for collaborative coin join transactions that doesn't really have a centralized point of failure. And furthermore, when you know the natural knee-jerk reaction to this is, okay, well, what about start nine? Is, isn't that going to fuck you over? Like start nine, get shut down? And the answer is no. Reason being, again, fully open source, everything. Anybody can download and host their OS on any Linux compatible device. But the interesting part about it to me is the marketplace. So this is where you go and you download your apps and, okay, I want a Bitcoin app. Oh, I want. And so you have your various apps and one of those is Jam. But okay, so somebody shuts down Start9 and they, they shut down the marketplace. Well, the cool thing about the registry here is you can add custom registries and any person is capable of making and hosting a registry for apps. And so even in the event that Start9 gets shut down and the Start9 registry disappears, anybody can create their own registry and host these apps to be then downloaded and installed on anybody else's Start9 device. So they've really kind of gone and thought about this in advance. I love this. And, and again, when it comes to like peer to peer and being able to obtain and swap Bitcoin for fiat and everything, you can even self host things like RoboSats and then you can run it from your own Tor browser and it's self hosted on my Start9 so I can swap from fiat to, to Bitcoin via Lightning. And it's all hosted from my own device in my own home. My roundabout reason for being bullish this week is as shitty as everything is in terms of what's happening right now, the response from people building things uh, will be to lean towards not having that thing be uh, have central points of failure. And the stuff that's still around, that still exists, is be, it's becoming clearer and clearer what is resilient already to this type of stuff. 